Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> Rolly fingers. Let's see that one. Yeah, he's kind of pudgy. Do you know Rolly fingers? He pitched for the A's. No, never mind. No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from from the seventies? <gasps> oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. She knows okay. we're married. That's a little okay, uncomfortable. Well, that gives me a good start. For what? Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Where's she at? It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't Here need a spotting scope yeah. for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Ew, stop, Delilah. Tuxedos. Tuxedos. As yes, often as possible. Because you're Tuxedos a creep. As often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm mm. looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Um. Uh. My nose this, has been broken. This, sure. Are you sure. I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? <laughs> I wish. No, I a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Yeesh. I want to know about your eyes. Why? Out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Oh no. You're what? Julia like to dream. Is, is that okay? Whoops. Uh, yeah. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. This is kind of uncomfortable. Um tired. tired. Absolutely tired. Of this nonsense. They look delight. tired, I think. But also oh, of yeah? everything. Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Can, can we open the desk drawer? I'm trying to. Let's turn on the lights. I mean, it's daytime. We really don't need lights. All right, anyways. Um, so welcome. Delilah's a creep. Yeah, didn't actually get to a welcome because the, the audio started right away. But welcome to our fifth video sure. of Firewatch. I think so. I'm going to lose count here pretty soon. But I'm Paul. This is Paul Plays Games. And I'm his nameless, faceless Liza Kashi that he put a ring on. <laughs> in there it's, uh oh what is that die a 20 sided die yes he's gonna play dungeons and dragons clearly so many people to play with here okay cool let's uh throw it back in the drawer that <laughs> oh what is this escape from two orcs see it is dungeons and dragons oh that's cute uh-huh can you put it back? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. We just are so bad at putting things away. Oh well. Um, throw it over here on the stove. Where it can start okay. a fire. That's good. Huh. Yes! Nailed it. Alright. Uh, that D20 is just going to stay there though. Alright, let's fix our window. Cause yeah. we, I mean, I guess we have nothing else to do. She hasn't given us instructions. I'm sure she will in a minute. It's so. uh... Board up. Board up. Maybe we need to get... I saw some firewood in the corner yeah, that we need might need to pick, pick up. Mm, no. Said old wood. I know I saw... No, let's look above us. To the right. What's in there? Okay, they're just boxes of stuff. Nice uh, fire bucket. Does that mean there's going to be a fire in here? It's guest book. Oh. Huh. That's weird. 
Um, we could check the other drawers and cabinets and stuff. That is a oh. this game is a little tricky in trying to like like it's kind of hard to. It's gonna make us drink the whiskey, isn't it? Hang on, I almost got the desk. Uh, it's a little funky. I think I have to get closer to it, and then you have, there, there it is. All right. Ate the hard way. Oh. Okay, stop. Yeah. Is he man? Huh. Richard Sturman. Uh. The gambling book, beating the odds. Let's put it on our bookshelf. Okay. Oh, there's Sorry, a there's guys, a toolbox. I, really... I think we, no, we need the toolbox. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bad. I don't really know what to do. No, so. I think we're. Hang on. Well, stop, stop. There we there go. There we go. Hey, Look we actually got it right clean. that time. Oh, we need to put Patriots away. Yeah, we kind of chucked that. I one. want to apologize to the audience for being such a neat freak. <laughs> Nuggets. I can almost there. I'll put down. Yes. There we go. Look at that. All right, I toolbox. think I think we want yes, I think we want the toolbox here. Yes, no. Let's get up close and personal with it. No, why are mm -hmm. you giving us a toolbox if we can't use it? Is there anything down there we need? No. No. All right, let's try and fix the window from this side, maybe. Can you click Can we grab on the pencil? Else? No. No. Okay. We're in. Um. Set. Wait. Hold right, on. right there. Go. Window. Oh, we can't board go up, it up. Go up. Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, we could go. We could go just down and wander around. Uh, uh, I guess. Can we call Delilah? Can she talk to us? No. Turn towards the window, and let's just get real up close and personal. Sometimes that's what it needs. Nope. All right. Well, let's head on down. I guess. I think we have to leave this way. I believe. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll find some planks nearby or something. Yeah, that's a good idea. Search around a bit. Oh, there's oh, one. There we go. I'm a frickin' winner. Get a couple more boards. Let's uh, look around the base here. I know our audience is always like, I'm already a couple of board... boards. Oh. Cistern. Nice. Picket. Oh, we can turn the spigot. Oh, that's good. Just waste a little water there. Yes. Just check around. Uh, what about the outhouse? Do you think there'd be any near the outhouse? Yeah, there is a plank. Like, oh, wait, there's the one right there. To where? the right. To the right. Right there. Where? Right there. Oh. Good eyes, my darling. T tell me about your eyes, Paul. Uh, that are really fantastic. Think of a ruby inside a volcano. I don't know what that means. Your eyes are not demonic red. <laughs> <laughs> With green, um, yeah. Um, a ruby's not green. No, you're right. I was thinking emerald. Um, are we headed towards the outhouse? I don't know. Are kinda... you? No, I don't think so. I do need to go pee. Yeah, let's check the outhouse. I would bet there's one near the outhouse. That would just be my guess, though. Yep, look at that. Another one by the outhouse. That wasn't there before. It was not there before. Creepy. Can I take you? Thank you. There we go. There we go. Now we can board. Want to go pee? Uh, is the baseball still in there? You can use it. Yes. Hang on. Hang on. Go back. 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 Use. It you... just shuts the door. Oh, that is not using it. That is the opposite of using it. All right. So sorry that took us a minute to figure out what was going on, but we were just kind of wandering. Oh, oh there's, there's another, another one. Wait, was that one there before too? Uh, I think we have a a ghost on our. Wait, what is this? What I can... We can just jump Oh, you can over. hop over it? Yes. Why? Do it. Yeah. I mean, he acted like that thing was really high. It's like, why did he not just step over it? Okay, let's go board up the window. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think anybody wants to see us just look around inside the tower. Comment if you want us to just see us look around outside the tower. Alright, so let's fix up this window and then I'm sure that Delilah, with whatever her face is, will... Like, I always get a bad feeling about the name Delilah. I feel like that means, like, oh no, I'm going to offend people whose name are Delilah. I can't give my opinion these days anymore. Is that offensive? Alright, so let's board this thing up. Unless we get too much outdoors. It just reminds wise. me of the Bible right. story, you know? Like. And if you don't know, she was kind of a... Uh... She was a lady. That betrayed her... Lover. Well, yeah. I got that window all patched up. 
So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Actually, of yeah, course. it doesn't matter. Just pick one. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Huh. Yeah, you do that. Oh. I think we wanted to say we were ready. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? <laughs> oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Oh, that was it. Uh, that was a short day. We'll keep playing here for a, for a little bit, but... Um, See if we can't get to day 10. Is it already day 10? Well, no, they just skip through some days, because it's not like you're going to have a fire every day. Um, uh, you do when you're next to me, because there's a fire always lit in my heart. Wow, fantastic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Now you say something nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm really enjoying this game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so that was... Oh, we're uh, eating a sandwich. sandwich. Looks like cardboard. Who's like bringing Hello, us? Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Oh, that sunset's really nice. It is really pretty. I might never leave. Oh, well I was. That's funny. Well I was. <laughs> Hardy har. Ugh, I'm finally paying for all those years of giving my bosses attitude. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Um, probably just... I didn't do anything. That sounded really defensive. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Yeah, we want to Look, get defensive. it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, Jeez. then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No. No. No, it's we need. Worth it's worth mentioning. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Here's another screenshot for y'all. Yep. Very pretty. Yep. Oh. Oh, day 15. We're just scooting right along here. But, yeah, so... Those girls seems, are missing now. Yeah, it seems like this might be the central plot here, the missing girls, but we'll find yeah. out. We'll keep on playing for a little bit. Um, I am interested to know why they came to the forest in the first place. Oh, they're like, probably just camping. I guess, yeah, I guess, but they're Drink. from Cali. Yeah, but just Colorado Cali. The Colorado's really pretty. It is. Henry. Henry, wake up. Shoot. Right, that's, uh... Uh, uh... Oh, Get out of bed and pick up the radio. How about we don't answer Delilah? What do you want? Turn on the light. Hey, you big dumb idiot. What are you... Oh. Hi. It's, it Hi. sounds like Julia. That's what I was going to say. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? I'm fine. Are you? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Well, that was weird. It was a dream, but that's really sad. Yeah, that is really sad. 
Jeez, this, this game is just full of sadness. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let us know how you feel in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for comment baiting for us. I'm sorry. Um, oh, that was really sad. I thought he was... Yeah. I thought he was mistakenly calling Delilah Julia. Yeah. Good little... Hike north to Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably oh. unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. That's kind of uncomfortable. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> I mean, now living in California, maybe that's the place you should it's Colorado. be going. Or Colorado. That's the place you should be going. Oh, there's a rope. So, no one is actually like, for you. two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just oh. thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Which one? Uh, I shouldn't be here. I think he's still guilty about it. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Not surprising. Uh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason... I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I got, I, got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? 